Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Do you have difficulty buying gifts for your kids for birthdays or Christmas or even your husband because hard to buy for but your husband's in the RC hobby and maybe your kids want to get in the RC hobby? I have the solution for you. Check this out. It's called the Stargazer. It's an all-in-one FPV kit and it reads like a comic book. Now this is by the company Hisinji and they sent this to me so I could check it out but I have to tell you right now this video was recorded in March of the year 2023. You cannot buy this right now but you will be able to buy it in a few months so if you're watching this sometime in the summer of 2023 23 or later you can buy this so because of that fact this is not going to be a long video and i'm not going to go into too much detail but i'm going to show you some cool things so check this out first off i want you to think back to when you were a kid opening a gift on christmas morning so your child gets this gift opens up the box now i've already taken everything out i've just put it back yet to show you what you get and the first thing they're going to see if i flip this over they see all this it's sort of like a comic book they get this little two-step card that says hey do this download the app watch this video it tells you everything that's the first thing they get a huge manual which also is really well designed and oh it's so easy to follow this manual very good toss that back there then you get this envelope and if you open it up it is a comic book it's got the storyline of the stargazer here now this one that they've currently put out is in Chinese and English the ones they're going to sell in North America coming in a few months are only in English. That's what I understand. So you have this huge storyline to give you the backstory of your stargazer. And down here you have these little cards. Each of those cards has a QR code that you take a cell phone, scan the QR code, and each of these represents something in the kit. And that puts those items in the kit into your phone app. Get rid of that. Next we have over here, we have the bag that they send you. So if you go to the field, your child or your husband goes to the field, well, that's upside down, goes to the field. There you've got the Stargazer pilot and uh, you throw everything in there and you go to the field and you go fly. Speaking of flying, let me show you what's in the box. So over, where am I? Over here, you have the remote, super easy to use. I'll show you it really quick. Then you have the drone, FPV quad right there. And then you have a set of goggles. And I will tell you one thing about the goggles. Let me pull them out. This blew my mind. I review so many FPV drones on this channel, especially those that come in a kit, all in one kit. I never wear the goggles because everything's blurry because I'm farsighted, I wear glasses, and you can never fit goggles over glasses. These, however, are made by Fat Shark. So you're getting Fat Shark recon goggles. And when I put these on my head and look inside, it's not blurry, it's all clear because it's high quality goggles. So I was pretty impressed with that. I've never seen that in a kit before. Next over here, we have the remote and you can see it's got these geriatric buttons, I call them, because look at, they're huge. You have a button down here, a button here. So over here, this colored one, you only hit that if your drone should land upside down. This will flip it back upright. And then on the other side, you have two buttons for functions in flight. And then on the very top, you have power this on and then you have start the motors down here. This remote has haptic feedback, so it vibrates in your hand. It has a lot of weight in it, so it feels really good in the hands. It's powered by an 18650 battery that comes with it, so it's rechargeable. The goggles as well, not a lot of buttons right there. So you have a menu system to set up the brightness, the contrast if you want. Nothing that kids could mess up. You could change your video channels if you want to go to another video channel you're getting interference and a power button on the bottom as well there's a data port on the side for a DVR unit so you can record your flights I don't have that because it wasn't available at the time of this release but it will be available when you buy this later on in the year and it's also powered by an 18650 that's rechargeable so no batteries required for this and the drone itself is made out of very hard plastic and I have crashed it a few times as a matter of fact it records how many times you crash it and it records how well you fly it in the app you're gonna see that it's pretty cool and check this out it comes with a battery charger and four batteries right there so you don't get this this is just me with a power bank because you plug it into a usb item i just want to show you power it up now since this drone is more or less designed for children to fly around and learn how to fly in the fpv hobby now that could be teenagers as well or even adults who are young at heart it has a camera on it that's non-adjustable you can't move the camera up or down it also has flight modes that are very basic in other words the more you fly the more you can change the angle of the drone with the configuration in the phone app but only to a certain amount the best you can do is you can put this in angle mode which is what we use in the fpv hobby so you can get a little bit more tilt and buzz along that way but you'll never be able to do flips and rolls and all that stuff they haven't added that to this version also to mention the motors on here are brushless motors and they are very powerful because i put an insta 360 go that you're going to see in this review on top and i flew around with the extra camera and it could lift the extra camera with no problem the batteries are pretty sweet you just slide them in starts up makes that cool sound and then in the back you have an led light and you can change it to multiple different colors because maybe somebody else in your family got one of these 
for Christmas as well, so you want different colors. The canopy on top can actually be pulled off and you can put a different one on, so they have different storylines that are supposed to be coming out. So I've powered this on. Uh, normally you don't do this, but I'll see if it works. I'm gonna power on the remote after I've powered this on. It's, it's a pretty smart system. So yeah, it does connect. I can see the lights going. So power button on the goggles. I just wanna show you, everything works right out of the box. And it's coming up, it says, Hi Sinji! You can see it there, and there we go. So you see what my little drone sees as I move it around here. So you're all set to go. Any kid on Christmas morning is ready to go! I'll just stick these goggles over here. I'll show you I can fly it right here. So you press this button down here to start the motor. So just get back, start. There we go. Makes that sound. So look at how close I am right here. I'm gonna try to lean back and fly it. Get away from my face, but you see how stable it is? It's right by my eyebrows, but pretty stable. Here, let me bring it down. Okay, next thing I'll show you the app on my phone. All right, I'm going to put my phone over here. So I'm going to click on the Hi Sinji app. And there we go. Next, you see a video of some FPV flying. Ignore all that. Then you get into the app itself and you see something that looks like you're back in Pokemon era, Pokemon era. And then uh, look at the very bottom. You'll see a little picture of a human over on the far right. That's what I'm going to click on. That's me, Captain Drone. So it shows I'm at level six now. I've made it to level six and flying this thing. It says I have flown this drone for a total of 31 minutes, 25 flights, and I've crashed three times. And you can see my achievements over here. So I have all these things. I love the boom one because that's how many times I crashed, I think. Anyways, I have to unlock all these achievements achievements and then you can get more features on the drone. So now this phone is connected to the Stargazer. What video channel do you want to be on? And I have it on flight uh, channel one. It says uh, the flight data is synced because I did take it out for a flight. Uh, so I should be on a higher level. Let me check that out. And I'm going to go back to me to see if I'm on a different level. So my airtime, ooh, look at that. Airtime, I'm at 43 minutes now because it had not synced all the information that I had done after the last few flights. So now it has, so I'm at 40, I'm not far off 60 minutes. So for tuning, you can see I can adjust it so I can go a little bit faster, but watch what happens when I get to performance level there. Oh, not enough PP. So I don't know, maybe I have to fly Fly it longer for that horizontal same thing let's see if it does the same thing oh not enough pp so propulsion power i guess that's what it means but i want to go over here that's tuning and then in general this is where you can change the colors of your little indicator light at the bottom and uh, this is where you level it so that it stays level you don't have to do any trimming so it just did it it's like a gyro calibration and then sport mode is what i want this is angle mode you see it's off if I click on it, it's going to tell me requires 60 minutes of flight time to activate. So as soon as I get 60 minutes of flying on this, I can put it in angle mode. And then make sure at the bottom you save all your settings. There we go. You can also update the firmware. It's really simple. It does it fast. Anyways, enough chatting. I guess the next thing I should show you is me flying this. Now, since I had to record the video in the goggles, these goggles, as it comes today, do not have a DVR. However, the ones that you can buy in a few months from now come with a little module on the side that records the DVR. So you'll record the video. There's a micro SD card that goes in it, or you can download the video right to the app on the phone. But for the flights I made here, since I had to record the video, I just flew with my Fat Sharks and hit the record on the Fat Sharks. So that's the video you get. And I will tell you right off the bat, the video quality on this is really good for an FPV kit drone that is made for children or young adults. So uh, check out some flight footage here. All right, let's pop a battery in this baby. All set to go and place it down on the ground. Okay, I've got an image in these goggles. It looks a little contrasty because uh, these fat sharks are not made for this drone, but eh, you'll see what I see. You hit the start button. There we go. Engine start. And I should be able to fly it around me. It's a bit of a breeze out here, so we'll see how it does in the wind. So I'm going down the end of my driveway. I'm just going to spin it around. So you can see me sitting here. It's probably another camera already focused on me, but uh, there I am. It's a very smooth flying drone for outside. And uh, let's go. Let's go this way first over the snowbanks. Nice and low. Get over that one. Come back this way. So if I go out in the wind, it just blows away with the wind. It doesn't have enough of an angle, so you need angle mode. So I keep it low to the ground so it doesn't blow away. So that's why I really can't go down my street because it's just going to blow backwards. I'll try to go <laughs> close to a snowbank down the street out of the wind. Here we go. Yeah, it's just blowing it into the snowbank. Yeah. So right now I'm going full forward and the wind's blowing it backwards. So I have to come back up the driveway. Seems like it probably has pretty good range, but uh, yeah, I guess we won't find out due to the wind out here. The video quality is pretty good on this. It's not bad, actually. All right, let's go back this way. 
So once I get my 60 minutes of flight time, then uh, I should have no problem for uh, flying this all over the place. But for now, when you fly outside the wind, it's it's great. Like, look, I fly around my garage. My garage is a disaster of all sorts of items in here. But flying around and over this stuff, there's some planes. Let's go over here. There's no no real light in here other than the window. More planes up here. Bicycle hanging. Got my Jeep in here. Look at this. More uh, gas-powered vehicles up here. Got planes down there. More planes, more planes, more planes. Yes, I love planes. More planes, more planes, more planes. And then coming down and then back. Try to get through all this. Whoa, past the snowblower and back over to me. There we go. Now, I always get people asking me if you can put a camera on these little drones. And yes, I've got an Insta360 Go on this one. I'll show you what the footage looks like outdoors. Now, the great thing is this little guy does have enough power to lift the camera. Yeah, and now you're seeing what it looks like with the Insta360 Go camera on it. Now I do have the camera facing downward, so it might be looking a lot more downward than upward, but here I'll come back to me. Go this way. We can still fly quite well. Oop, missed the Jeep. Going through my garage again where it's cool in here. All the cool stuff is. Go up, pass all the planes, the boxes. And come down, miss that. I'll see if I can go over to my neighbors again, keep it up higher, try not to crash. There we are. And now I'm going to go with the wind. I have to bring it down quickly because the wind is going to push it really quick. And bring it down before that snowbank. There we go. Got it. Perfect. So there you go. That's what it looks like if you fly this around with an Insta360 Go on it. If I take it up, watch what happens. The wind should take it, but I'm beside this tree, so I might be lucky. There you go. I can go up, 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 up. Look around. That's what it looks like here. Not bad. And then the wind's taking it now, so I gotta bring it down. Fight the wind and come on back down to me. And come in for a nice little landing over here. There you go, coming in. And right before this camera. Boink. All right, we've just come indoors and I'm gonna take it for a flight around my house really quick just to show you how it flies indoors without any breeze or wind. All right, so looking at my screen, just in case you don't know what everything is on the screen, up here, way up there, that's the brand name. Up in that corner, it shows I'm on video channel one. You can change the video channels. And away down here is the voltage of the battery in the drone. It will drop as you fly and try not to get it down to like 3.4 volts or anything like that. And that's your timer down there as flying. So let's go, hit the start button. And I should be able to fly between the camera and myself. And coming here, I am. look at that. It's so easy to fly this thing. There we go. Going through the house. I can pick up speed. This is really decent drone. You can actually corner around corners really nice. So I'm going at a moderate speed here. Uh, it might look like I'm going fast. This is very easy to fly with this drone. It's not a difficult drone to fly whatsoever. And what I do like about it is if you get in tight spaces, like I just go over here into this room, say over here I was in a corner or something, you can get out of that corner really easy. It turns like on a dime. And come this way, see I can go through all these little passages, no problem. And if you want to go high or low, through or under things, it will do that quite well. Uh, let me come back and let me just see if I could show you. I'll go lower and lower. So you see in front of me, there's a table. Going, 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 going. Eh! up the other side there we are and then back over here to me and let's bring it down for a quick landing this is a really really well-tuned little drone i'll put it back over here coming down there we are and you can see down here even after that flight i'm still at 4.1 volts which is really decent for the amount of time i was flying and of course i can take my little insta 360 go tape it to the top it's just double-sided tape Place it there and uh, it's stuck on there and we're ready to film. So let me show you what it looks like with this camera. Here we go. We have more weight on the drone, but it can still handle it. And it's come over really low up by my hands around this way. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to hit my hands for a second there. Come this way. You can see I've still got a lot of speed whipping around the house. Now with the little Insta360 Go camera on top. It's just a buzzing. So I'm amazed that they made this drone with the amount of power it has for something uh, like this. Really, really good. So you can have a lot of fun bouncing around your house with it. Go in any place you want to go. Come on this way, this way, and this way. Can I go low under the table again? Oh, I don't know. With all this weight, we'll try it. Oh, yes. 
come up this way. So I could see kids or even adults having a blast with this thing because it's so easy to fly. Like if I handed this to someone who never flew FPV, you could fly FPV quite easily. Probably not as fast as I'm going right now. You'd probably have to uh, get your brain used to the controls, but you could definitely do it. There we go. All right, let's bring it over to this little camera over here. Go through, coming through again, going around, going around, and we're gonna bring it down over here, out of the light and over on the table. Oh, not there. <laughs> That's where the goggles are. Hang on, I'll put it over here, over on my cell phone. Boink, and there we are. All right, so you're back to me. So keep this product in mind. It's coming out in a few months in North America and other places in the world, and it will be totally all in English. There won't be any more Chinese uh, writing on it, so it'll be a product that you can buy at your local hobby store or maybe even major retailers. I'm not sure. I think they wanted to put it on Get FPV or stores like that. So check for it. I think it's pretty cool. You get the batteries, you get the goggles, you get the drone, you get the controller, and you get the storyline and the backstory, and everything is configurable and customizable so that's why I say it would make a great birthday or Christmas gift for a young child or an adult who's young at heart and have a lot of fun with this. All right guys thanks for watching this video I'm going to put links below to this company you can go check out the website you'll find out more about this but for now I say thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with many more quad and drone reviews until then I say bye! <laughs>